Hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Noah Choi. I will discuss about probability. Today, I would like to talk about the whole concept of probability easily and deeply. Okay, let me introduce the table of contents. First, definition of probability. In this part, we are going to learn what is probability correctly. And second, the origin and history of probability. We are going to know and understand why before people needed to study probability and we will discuss when and where it came from. Third, uses and examples of probability. As we learn about the definition and origin of probability, we will try to understand the common usages in our daily life. And last, we're going to know the probability of winning in the lottery. To solve that problem, we need to understand the basic concepts regarding probability first. So, later on, we will handle those concepts as well. It would be a good tip for you. I hope so. Okay, let's start. Main point number one. What is probability? Okay, let's think about it. Can you predict the future or something result before that happened? Absolutely no. It is impossible to know perfectly. However, it is possible to guess the result regarding the information and various data. Therefore, we can say that probability came from guessing. Like this, probability came from the statement that there are inevitable rules for accidental events. From that on, people started to guess the result of future events. So, I'd like to define probability like this. Probability is a number that expresses faith in what kind of event will happen. Also, it is the rate at which a specific result appears. Did you understand what probability is? Okay, very good. Let's move on to the second point. Main point number two. The history of probability. In ancient Greece, there was a game in which the victory or defeat of the game was determined by the form of animal bones thrown out. It is said that engraving a picture on this bone was the beginning of the dice. The period when the study of probability was started is the year 63 by Girolamo Cardano. He was an Italian mathematician and also a gambling addict. He wanted to win in the game, so he published the paper, The Book on Games of Chance. Just literally, it is a paper on how to win a dice game. Surprisingly, this is the start of the study of probability. After that, during the 17th century, the famous mathematicians Pascal and Fermat exchanged the letter about the problem regarding probability. The content of the letter was this. While the two were playing gambling games, the game was suspended with one person winning. In this case, how should we divide the money? It was the problem that talks about the probability of winning. They were trying to solve this problem. This or how probability was studied. Okay, mm, by the way, compared with the other mathematical concepts, the probability was recognized as a study very lately. Why? Because the probability belongs to the field of uncertainty. Like this, before people thought that probability depends on God's will. So they thought that we are not qualified to know about that field. Even the famous Greek philosopher 
Plato mentioned this question. He said, It's a fraud to discuss the probability. It is the reason why probability was studied very lately. Okay, main point number three. Let's talk about the uses and example in our daily lives. The first picture is predicting the weather. Really, it is amazing technology to predict precipitation, isn't it? Second, statistics. Even in mathematics, we use probability frequently, especially in statistics or the organization of data. Third, it's gambling. Gambling is one of the oldest uses in our lives. The card game, dice, and so on, those are the games based on probability. Main point number four, probability of winning the lottery. This is our last discussion today. As I mentioned earlier, to solve this problem, we need to understand some mathematical concepts first. So I will explain the three important concepts briefly. Number one, factorial. Factorial is product of all positive integers less than or equal to a given positive integer and denoted by that integer and an exclamation point. So when we see the formula, n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 until the number of n will be 1. It is the concept of factorial. And number two, permutation. It is a mathematical calculation of the number of ways a particular set can be arranged. Where the order of the arrangement matters, the formula is the total number n factorial and total number minus the selected number r factorial. Number three, Combination Combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. We are going to use this concept to solve the problem of probability. Let's discuss it more specifically. N refers to the total number of objects in the set. C refers to the combination and R means the number of choosing objects from the set. Okay, let's try to understand it. Choose one among four will be 4C1 equals to four because we are choosing one, two, three, four. Okay, and another example, choose two among four, it will be 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. So those are 6. We can say that 4C2 equals to 6. Okay, then let's try to get the probability of winning the lottery. It is the same as well. Let's use the formula 49 factorial over 6 factorial times 49 minus 6 factorial. You try to solve it first. Okay, the answer is 13,983,816. After that, we need to divide by 1 then the answer will be 7.15 accurately the answer is 0.0000071511238 what comes to your mind just let's study hard okay this was my discussion about probability. Did you understand what is the probability? Thank you. Okay, 
Thank you so much for listening and watching my video today. Thank you so much.